two new Calmac ferries being built at Ferguson Shipyard on the Clyde face further delays because of hundreds of electrical cables having been wrongly installed. The shipyard has had many problems in building these ships. Originally the contract was awarded to the shipyard that later went bankrupt and was nationalised by the Scottish Government. The current management said remedial work would affect delivery and costs, meaning the delivery date or overrun of the ferries slips again. The two ferries are already four years late and will cost more than double the £97 million contract price awarded with the yard in Port Glasgow. If they chose originally a shipyard in Poland, for instance, one of these vessels would have been in service a long time ago. In an update to MSPs, the now nationalised firm said the defective cables were installed by contractors working for Ferguson Marine Engineering Limited before it went into administration in August 2019. The cable ends had been left called up ready for connection to equipment, but they have only recently been unwound and found to be too short. A survey has revealed that at least 400 cables and possibly as many as 939 have problems, with management believing the quickest solution is to replace them completely. The update warns at present, it is not possible to determine the impact on schedule and costs. The commissioning of the first vessel, Glen Sanox, which was due to be handed over in July or September later this year, cannot take place until the cables have been replaced. And the report also warns of a knock-on effect on the delivery of the second ship, hull number 802 currently being built on the slipway. Ferguson Marine's newly appointed Chief Executive David Tideman will provide an update on delivery costs in March. This is a hammer blow for the island communities of the Western Isles of Scotland, with the vessel originally intended to be in service later in the summer in 2022 on the Isle of Arran route, effectively making a spare vessel available for other routes during the summer period, but clearly this will not happen now. With this latest setback to the Glen Sanox entering service already years late, this blunder will leave people wondering if the vessel will ever go into service.